Law & Order may finally have some competition on its hands as HBO Max plans to release a new DC-based police series. Let's talk about that right now. Hello everybody and welcome to Joker's Movie Network. My name is Joker and today we're talking about the new Gotham PD TV series that was just announced coming directly to HBO Max. So from Law & Order to CSI to NCIS, we thought we had finally seen everything that these cop shows have to offer. Of course, that is until someone decided to throw comic books into the mix and that is how we got the show Gotham that aired on Fox. And now now that Gotham has come and gone, it looks like Gotham PD may be the next big thing. So it has been confirmed through Warner Brothers that HBO Max will be hosting an original TV series based in the DC Universe called Gotham PD. But that is not all. Not only will it be a part of the DC Universe as we all know and love, it is also going to be directly tied to the Matt Reeves Batman Universe. So yes, we're going to have Matt Reeves, the director for The Batman, creating a TV series about the Gotham Police Department based in the same universe as his movie. And of course, this does also mean that it's going to be directly separate from the DCEU as Robert Pattinson as Batman is not replacing Ben Affleck's Batman that we had in the main DCEU that we've known so far. This is a completely separate universe and completely separate storylines. And I think that is where Gotham PD is going to be playing an important role, simply because this might be an easier way to introduce the general audience to the ideas of separate timelines and the idea of a multiverse. Because all us comic book lovers know that you can have five runs of any one character going at any time and none of them have to have the same timeline. They can be all separate timelines, different dimensions, different universes, you name it. They'll come up with a reason why these timelines are not connecting. And that goes for both DC and Marvel. So now that we've already established with the general audience that the Batman movie by Matt Reeves is not going to be connected to the DCEU, this would be an easier way to flesh out that universe and give it its own thing aside from the DCEU. And this would give lovers of the DC universe multiple stories to choose from. Now, of course, yes, this does sound like a direct challenge to Disney Plus and all of the MCU original series that are going to be coming out that tie into the MCU, but this is really the next step that everyone's going to be going anyway, so this didn't come really as a surprise to anyone. Of course, they're not necessarily going to be directly challenging them, saying, hey, our stuff is going to be better, but it's just the next step that people are going to be taking as far as content consumption goes. So I definitely think that this is a very smart move in putting it directly on HBO Max, which is Warner Brothers and DC's exclusive streaming service, it only makes sense that that's the one place it would go. Now, as far as what the show is going to be about, besides the obvious of it being about the GCPD, how is it going to be made? Is it going to be leaning towards more of the general cop show or more like the original Gotham TV series that we already had? I think it's going to be more based toward a regular cop show, and here's why. While I personally loved Gotham, I thought it was a fantastic show, because when I watched it, I was like, this is the first detective show that's based on, like, comic books, and I think that's really cool. You know, I love CSI and NCIS. I watch all those kind of detective shows all the time, but having one based in a comic book universe just made me more attached to the characters because I already knew most of what was going on. But at the same time, Gotham was more of an origin story for the entire city itself, not necessarily any one character. Yes, it was mainly focused around Bruce Wayne and Jim Gordon trying to solve the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne, but there was more to it than just that, showing all of the coming ups of all of the supervillains that we were going to know later down the line, and of course Bruce coming over his fear of everything around him and turning into the Dark Knight. Now flip that the other way around, and I think Gotham PD is going to be based mainly on the GCPD itself and not much of anything else. Of course, we may get some small cameos here and there from some big name villains that we may know, and potentially Robert Pattinson as Batman, or Bruce Wayne for that matter, but I think it's mainly going to be focused on the people in the GCPD. So a lot more Jim Gordon, Harvey Bullock, and maybe even Renee Montoya. And I think this is a much smarter approach to take because you can take these and give off great cop detective stories that we've already seen in other TV shows, but from a DC perspective. Especially when you bring in the fact that you can bring in villains that aren't necessarily the great giant ones that we know, such as the Joker or Mr. Freeze or the Riddler, you name it. But you could bring in other smaller characters such as the crime bosses, Falcone and Maroney, and have the classic cop versus mob stories that we've seen a dozen times and it would work perfectly fine because that seems about right for this type of story. But at the same time there's some room to grow on a lot of these characters. We can go into more of the backstory and more of the home life of all of these characters especially with Jim Gordon because if you go that far with Jim Gordon you can kind of creep into the idea of Barbara Gordon his daughter who of course we all know later on becomes Batgirl. And I think this is an important point to make because right now Warner Brothers and DC are currently in the works of trying to create a Batgirl movie. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, whether or not that's going to be involved in the Matt Reeves Batman universe or the DCEU universe, we don't know. But if it was to be related to the Matt Reeves area, that would be the perfect time to come up with an origin story for Barbara Gordon and how she becomes Batgirl later in that movie. Now, I know a lot of people don't like those ideas because you have to go to multiple different sources to find all of the content you need for everything to make sense. And I'm sure there's going to be some like small context clues here and there to help the casual viewer put that together. Because I know in Star Wars land, everyone hates that same thing when there's so much information in the book and people don't want to read the books and then go watch the movies and fill it in for themselves, and that's understandable. But in this case, since content seems to be rearing more towards streaming and more TV-based things so they can tell a greater story instead of just a two-hour movie, I think this is going to be a more common thing. But of course, none of these story plot ideas have been confirmed. The only thing that is true is that this show is coming out to HBO Max, and it is tied to the Matt Reeves universe with Matt Reeves overseeing the production of the show. But what do you guys think? Do you like this idea of having a Gotham PD TV series, or do you think Think we got enough of it with Gotham. Were you a fan of Gotham? Were you not a fan of Gotham? Let me know in the comments down below. I really want to talk about it. And especially, do you think any of the story plot ideas I brought out are actually going to happen? Or do you think they're going to go in a completely different direction? Again, let me know. I definitely want to talk about it. But until I get any more news related to Gotham PD or a potential Batgirl movie or anything in between, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Remember, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more movie news videos or if you'd like to see anything else. But until then, and as always, I will see you guys next time.